All right, so we have a match between Ampora Someone? versus PT John. Oh, PT John, the yes. young Doc. A Doc young versus Doc. Mark. This matchup is uh, traditionally thought to be in Mark's favor, but yeah. Doc can definitely do it. Because it, as long as he gets in, whether he's got those tick throws, whether he's yeah. got those grab setups, um, there's a lot of things that he can do. Um, yeah. But, I mean, granted, he has to get through that disjoint. That's so scary. So, Marth is a really cool character because his neutral is theoretically the best in the game, but, right. it, but it really isn't because of dash dancing and base Captain and stuff. Falcon. And Captain Falcon yep. and stuff. So, a bunch of baby Falcon characters, like Doc kind of, who has like amazing ground game, can really bait out, uh, whiffed moves with Marth and punish very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Like down smash is just amazing against Marth. It knocks him away super early. And back air, Marth is the worst top tier at getting hit. Yeah, because, <laughs> that's true. Because his recovery, it isn't horrible, but it's pretty bad if you're hit really far. Yeah, it might it be is. the worst if you're hit really far because it goes like about as far as and, Falco's. And I mean, it's rather linear and it's, it's slow, yeah. and everyone can just hit him with projectiles and stuff. So Marth gets hit. Ooh, Ooh. look at those tags! Okay. If, oh my gosh! All right, that was very good. But if uh, if a PC John didn't do a move, he would have gone off way too far, and it would have been impossible for him to come back. A lot of characters like that. If they wall jump tech and they don't do a thing, then they die. So yeah. So that was very good of uh, PC John to down B. Probably a back air just to keep his momentum more flowing would have been better. But he was in a rough spot. Uh, Doc's recovery is scary because it can come out at any, at any time, but it isn't very good. Because you just get hit once or twice. Doc is pretty bad at getting hit as well. But I th is he? No, why? Stop, PT John. John. Don't do Please. that. Don't do that. I think PT John is favored to win this set, so he's probably not too worried. But Ampora is so far pulling it out. Yeah, uh, he's been playing really smart. Just super simple. Not doing any of the flashy stuff, but just being effective, man. And I feel like that's, that's where this character can really exceed. Whenever I tell people, you know, who are trying to pick up melee, like, you know, they're asking me what character do I pick up, I just say Marth, man. Yeah, you I learn say fundamentals, you learn how to play the game. I generally say Marth or Sheik, because he's got a bait stuff. That's what I hear a lot of. Especially Marth and Sheik against people better than you. That is so frustrating and hard when it you're new, sucks. but you learn so much. Should I play Sheik? Playing Sheik against people better than you is really, really, really good. You get really good. Oh, that's gonna be the game. So PT John. He dies from a lot of silly offstage stuff. And then Pura is in the lead. Alright, so. So let's discuss Ampura's uh, Marth choice. Traditionally, this is the least favorite Marth. This is the like low right. tier Marth. Uh, Pew Pew Yu actually says White Marth is lower on the tier list than Roy. <laughs> You're right. Well, um. Uh, Sean just said that, or Affinity said that uh, PPU played White Marth, and he had to because of a bet on his stream. He didn't want to; he was forced to. That sucks. It's like that's like cruel and uh, unusual. unusual punishment. However, I, I play White Marth because I love playing hilarious characters that make people upset. I like, uh, I like Black Marth. You like Black, Black Marth? Marth. I like Black Marth. Uh, the Marth tier list for colors is pretty. It's pretty good. He he has. Ooh. He might have the best colors of the top tiers. Or maybe Falco or Falcon. I don't know. I just like how fully accentuated they are. Like, you just get the full feeling of it. Oh, Doc? Even though his, his like, best colors aren't amazing, his worst colors are really good. So he has the best matchup spread of colors in the game, I think. <laughs> Mewtwo has the worst. Mewtwo's colors are horrible. Oh, yeah. They're, they're all, all bad. They're all bad. He made a mistake of using the double jump that early. Yeah. Now, if he just kind of DI'd proper and just waited to save it, then it could have been a lot better. But So, okay. I'll bet Ampura... Oh, he's playing Marth, so he banned Dreamland. That's the standard Marth ban. And that's why they ended up here. And then PT John kind of picked this stage. I'm not sure why. I guess because PT John is really confident in his ground game, because that's what Duck is very good at. Right. And he just wanted to have a really big ground to play with, so no platforms to muddy up the experience. Okay. Or it could be personal preference. Oh, there it is. He he whiffs on that fair, and because of that, that's where the response back Oh, came. Dog Squad! Could have up-aired Impura, but Impura instead gets the down air. Gets the back hit a down smash. Trying to bait an option from Impura, but Impura's being very patient. Good on him. 
Oh, jab to down smash, the signature stuff from Doc. Yeah, Doc's jab is amazing. He can do jab, dash, grab, or like jab, or, or like jab, jab, grab, or jab, down smash, or jab, or jab, jab, down smash, and all those. Link. What? Oh, sorry, that's Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they all link. Like, they all I was like, Link's jab them. is terrible. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's I can definitely see that, and that's that seems like to be the combo, the common hit confirm that people like to go to. But that ability, because as soon as you get that close to Sumar, I mean, you won. It's not right. a, oh wow, he nared him into his build. Now if only he'd fared off of that. Back air. Doc's fair is kind of hard to connect on Mark because of his combo weight, but his back air does just as much because Mark just sucks at getting hit. Ooh, gets it with the late nair. Man. For those of you that don't know, Doc's nair starts out weak and gets stronger. Oh yeah, as it, as it, as it goes uh, towards the latter half of the active hitbox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is weird. It's the only move in the game like that. But. Yeah, that's really unique. I like that. Yeah, so you can set up some really weird heavy pressure spots with Doc's silly nair. If you chase them proper with it. There's the upsell. It's one of the many things in this game. It's like, was that a glitch? Or did they actually know what they were doing? No, or? they just said, hey, look at this cool thing that I can do. Yeah. <laughs> it's the opposite of uh, Mario. Why not? My theory is that Sakurai didn't even like put in a ton of the coding, and it's just all the interns that actually made this game amazing and special and unique. My theory is they never actually QA tested it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Game and Watch was made by by like the last intern in the last hour. They're like, hey, we need a guy to program a brand new character. He's flat and he doesn't need to L cancel. He's like, cool. <laughs> I can make that in 15 minutes. Oh, but apparently his down tilt is 3D. Great, I made one move weird. that has 3D. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Good you job. You did that in turn. Blender. You did that in <laughs> Blender in 20 minutes. Good job, homie. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, bear. I'm sorry. All right, so why? Why do you feel like PT John last game just completely changed it up? First game, Empora really just took it away. He was, uh, but last game, John caught it. I feel like it's it's a mix. Like I feel like John has really just got the download on him. Well, I think John, because he's just a pretty good player, he might have had the download from uh, on uh, Empora from the start. But he had those like bad SDs. He probably got in his own head and just performed worse and worse in game one. For sure. There, there's a bit of pause between games one and two. He's like, okay, just don't die, and I should have this. And then PT John banned Yoshi's, and now they're playing on this stage. I think Doc is pretty good on this stage, because Doc's Doc just has great moves, but they're all tiny. Yeah, Like, yeah. all of his moves have really good frame data, but they're all big enough to reach through the platforms here, so he's probably okay with the stage. I want to see set up. Oh, there it is. So Doc's up smash is another really weird move. It feels like it, doesn't it? Because it, when it, the active hitbox starts from behind him and then comes forward. Well, for one, I think his head is invincible, or it might be just his nose. Random things are invincible in this game. Anyway, Why? anyway, the, the the crazy part about it is, is whenever you hit them while you're on the ground, if you grounded up smash, uh -huh. it counts as a meteor. They go into way Sorry, more stuff. What? Yeah, you didn't know that. That's weird. So Dr. Mario's up smash grounded is. It's a meteor, and they're in more stun, and you get to hit them with a the fair. But if you hit it, hit them in the air, it's like a normal up smash. And it's one of the only moves like that. I think the only one. That's. It's just more weird glitches on Duck. What an odd character. Yeah. So the best punish on Puff uh, missing a rest is actually cape, 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 up smash fair. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's a good. That's pretty neat. Doc has probably the best punish on uh, Puff. Oh, down tilt? No, just go for the grab. There's. Oh, no. Get that, was, uh, that was pretty smart air dodge. Yeah, both these characters I think have a really hard time coming down against each other. But that's kind of a staple of melee in general. But you saw they were just trying to come down right there. So Empura misspaces a side B, gets yep. back aired because Martha's bad at getting hit, and then dies. 